Hey guys, how many times have you used functions with the switch case to decide on what to render in your app? I know I've been using it for years. But did you know you can actually write switch case in line in JSX? And that's what we're going to run through today. Before we get started, make sure you smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more tutorials just like this one. So you'll notice here we've got a very basic app with an item and set item in the state. We've got a render item function, which is running a switch case on the stateful item to decide what to return. So if it's an input, return an input with text. If it's date, return an input with date. And if it's a text area, return a text area. And then we're simply outputting that render item in the front end. And we've got a drop down field which will allow us to change between input date and text area. So quite simply, we can say a date and we get a date field, or we can say text area and we get a text area, or we can say input and we get an input field. And I certainly always used to use this option until I found out about inline JSX. So let's take a look at converting this into inline code. So the first thing we'll do is we'll remove this render method and we will take this code here and I'll just copy that. Now we're going to be displaying data in our JSX so we'll start with curly brackets as normal and then for our switch case it's another set of curly brackets and we have there we go case input then we don't need the return and we need to put a comma on the end and a comma on the end of there and Come up on the end of there, and we don't need the word case, so we'll just remove that. And then the final thing on the end of here is to put an array with what the case is conditional upon. So in this case, it's going to be item. And if we hit save, there we can see the render is exactly the same. So we've removed this whole function from our code and we can now use a switch case inline in JSX. Simple as that. 